such yogis can immediately find out ki what sort of a person they are facing. This is the difference. That means you know the truth. Truth about everyone. Truth about the whole situation. Truth about who is just boasting or just making up a story or some sort of a hypocrisy. It's not difficult because now you have the sight. You can see with your light what's wrong or what's good with others. Such a blessing it is for you that you cannot be cheated because also you are looked after by the Divine, guided all the time by the Divine. Have faith in the Divine. Have faith in the Divine. That's very important as you have faith in a candle. Have faith that the Divine will give you the light, will guide your path, will take you to the right place to do the right things. I mean, so many of these experiences are with you. I need not tell you how much people have written to me, how they found things working out. But I think meditation is the most important thing in such Every day you should do meditation. Those who do not do meditation are capable of falling down because meditation is like putting oil into the lamp. Those who do not meditate think they can do without it are sadly mistaken. Meditation is such a soothing thing, such a beautiful way of connection with the Divine that all your problems get solved in that meditative mood. If you are not meditating, you are not following meditation, then maybe your light will go down, <coughs> it won't give sufficient light. <coughs> it's important, very important to find out about yourself, about others in the meditation. How to do meditation? Many people ask. Don't do anything, to just go into thoughtless awareness. Try to go to the thoughtless awareness. If you can get into that condition of thoughtless awareness, you've done your job because that's the point where you are with the truth, with the reality, with the joy, with everything that is so fundamental. When you meditate, try not to, not to make some sort of a function out of it, no. Meditation is something silencing yourself, silencing your thoughts and going to that deep ocean which is within you itself, channels. In the same way, meditation is a continuous availability of the Divine Force. That will reduce all your apprehensions. Not only that, but takes out all the negative thoughts. It takes out all the discouraging things. And when you are meditating like that, thoughtless awareness, then you'll be amazed how you are helped from within and without. It's a terrible power that works is thoughtless awareness. Your depth is in thoughtless awareness. 
is a very important point which you should reach. Looking at anything, if you are thoughtlessly aware, then you will really become reflective about it. Just works out that way. I don't know how far you can remain in that condition, but even for a second you can achieve it, you start achieving it more and more. I've talked so much about meditation before, but today when I see all these candles burning, I think they are all meditative. They are all in meditation and that's how they are burning. In the same way, such yogis who meditate, I know, and those who don't, I know. And if they have problems, I know why the problems are there. Main thing is your connection with the Divine is only possible when you meditate and become thoughtlessly aware. That's the point where Divine works. It helps. It comes to your help in such a way that you don't know how you have achieved it. But steady yourself. You have to steady yourself at thoughtless awareness. How long? That's not the point. The point is once you touched it, you'll go on touching it. Many people meditate but their thought process is going on. They are not thoughtlessly silent. Now this is the one point which is very important. If you have to grow, you should be absolutely in connection with the Divine through thoughtless awareness. You don't have to pray, you don't have to call anyone, nothing. It just works because it is within you. All these thoughts are bombarding from both the sides in your mind.